And tip, Makanji, tip 20. Good morning. And what, friends, is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering, the third noble truth? It is the remainderless fading away and cessation, the giving up, the relinquishing, the letting go, and rejecting the same craving and clinging habitual reactions we live with. It is giving up of Atta, the personal perspective of this is mine, this is me, this is who I am. It is the giving up of attachment and aversion. This is the cessation of suffering. This is the noble cessation of suffering. And what, friends, is the noble truth of the way leading to the cessation of suffering? It is this noble eightfold path. We must set up a harmonious perspective to fulfill right view, an impersonal perspective, and not take things personally. We must set up harmonious images in our mind. And those will become right thoughts and turn into right intentions. We must have harmonious communication with our speech and movement of our body and expressions in our eyes and thoughts. And we must have harmonious movement of mind's attention the highest level of right action concerning the pursuit of the supreme knowledge and freedom from suffering. We must set up harmonious lifestyles and this will fulfill us having right livelihoods and jobs which support us while we make our pursuit spiritually to be free. And we must practice a harmonious practice, which is called right effort, to recognize unwholesome mind states in our mind, to release the unwholesome mind states and relax our head and mind, to bring up a wholesome mind state, the fastest is a smile. And to create more wholesome states and continue them through our day. To let go of personal opinion and surrender to impersonal perspective. And we must always practice a harmonious observation so we can learn how all of this works and that is fulfilling our right mindfulness and lastly we should develop a productive level of concentration a harmonious collectedness of mind which will allow us to reach the path easily and to learn all that we need to know to reach this freedom and achieve the remainderless fading away and cessation, the giving up and relinquishing, the letting go and rejecting all that same craving and clinging and habitual tendencies of reaction, changing them into pure thoughts and actions and loving kindness, compassion, joy and equanimity support this effort. That is called the path support for the eight folds of the eight fold path. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.